you know, you know. Well, and so you gave me a good strategy to fight that, and it was successful. Tell me so what. Tell, tell the listeners one more time. Just bullet points because okay. I'm running out of time here. Just tell me. So I took. I was able to take vitamin C and and get 12 hours of sleep along with a little bit of zinc piconate, and in 48 hours, well, something that I would expect to take two weeks. God was better in two days. Isn't that awesome? I appreciate that. Oh, that no, great. no, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Socrates. Okay, I appreciate I, uh, it. Today, I wanted to ask you if I could extend that further. Okay. Uh, my, my diet has been pretty, my, I, I say this in, in the most honest manner, because I've been in, obsessed with nutrition for about 10 years. Okay. But in the past, I would say, three years, my, the, I, there's a correlation with the, uh, my chronic insomnia and weight gain. Is this, yeah. is this a likely for culprit? Is that yes, it's quite, well, it's the, it's, they're connected. They're, they're both caused by the same problem, cortisol, stress. Mm. Something's burdening the, burdening the body. When your body thinks its life is being threatened, it's not going to let you sleep. So you can remember I said start off the program by saying there's these simple mechanisms that are behind everything. Stress, and I, I hate that word stress because it's almost cliche at this point, but burden on the body will initiate the secretion of hormones that are designed to save you. One of the ways the body thinks it's saving you is by not letting you sleep because presumably if there's a tiger about to bite your head off, you're not supposed to fall asleep. So insomnia right. is related to the body's desire to keep you alive to survive and, and the hormones that are associated with that, specifically cortisol. Weight gain's the same thing. When you, are, when you have weight that you cannot lose, guaranteed hiding behind it is a body that thinks its life is at stake. And this is what inflammation is about, this is what immunity is about, this is, about lack of, this is what lack of healing is about, this is what obesity is about, this is what blood sugar changes are about. If you backtrack far enough, you'll find a body that thinks its life is being, is being about to be snuffed out. So what you got to do is you got to calm the body down. Now, here's the caution, everybody. Here's the caution. When I talk about stress, everybody thinks about mental stress and emotional stress. When I talk about burden and cortisol, everybody thinks about mental and emotional reasons. But there's physical reasons why there's stress. Uh, breathing or lack of breathing can cause it. Uh, degenerative disease can cause it. This is where the circle, the vicious circle and vicious cycle comes in. Stress leads to degenerative disease, which leads to more stress, which leads to more degenerative diseases. So you've got to calm the body down, Socrates. And there's lots yeah. of ways to do it. And everybody listening, it's not just Socrates who has to do this. If you're dealing with this cancer or heart disease or diabetes, especially cancer, any chronic degenerative disease, you've got to calm the body down. You do it by eliminating food or reducing food or caloric restriction or fasting first because food represents a major burden to the body. So a day or two of fasting. You do it by eliminating problem foods because problem foods are a major stressor on the body. Mm. You do it by stabilizing blood sugar because sugar represents a burden and a stress on the body. A little bit of sugar you need. But after that little bit, you've got emergency. And over the course of, uh, of days and weeks and months and years, you get long-term emergency, you get long-term secretion of cortisol. Figuring out how to lower and, and, and uh, calm the body down, calm down the emergency response is the key, Socrates, behind okay. insomnia, behind immune problems, behind uh, blood pressure issues, behind whatever it is, behind obesity, behind weight gain, calm the body down. Number one, uh, uh, digestive strategies, pro caloric restriction, fasting, and eliminating problem foods. Number two, stabilizing blood sugar. That means eating less of it and then using nutrients that help you process the blood sugar, especially the B vitamins, which are your stress mm -hmm. vitamins, FYI. Really? And, and water soluble, so we pee them out and, and become deficient very readily. Third, make sure you're practicing slow, deep breathing. Fourth, make sure you're moving your body around to circulate the lymph and circulate the blood. Fifth, make sure that you're using mental, emotional, and spiritual strategies to relax the body. Mm -hmm. Sixth, Make sure you're on a nutritional supplement program. And that mm -hmm. means the mighty 90 essential nutrients, but especially water-soluble nutrients, the Bs, C, and your electrolytes, which are all intimately connected to energy and the stress response. They're all important, but we lose these B-complex vitamin C and electrolytes in our urine all the time, and if they're not replaced, it's very easy to be deficient. Socrates, I gotta motivate my friend, but you got lots of strategies there, and thanks so much for sharing your success story. I really appreciate it. Take care, bro. Thank you. All right, uh, Virginia in Ohio, you've been holding on forever. I apologize. What's going on? Hi, I 
called about a week ago, and I started the program you suggested for eczema. Okay. And it's already considerably better. Praise God. Can I get yes. a praise of the Lord, Virginia? But I have another problem. Yes. Uh, no, I want to hear about the eczema. For, my eczema, head, let's... It rotates to no, one Virginia. Side. Stop, stop, Virginia. I want to talk about the eczema real quick. So yes. you had eczema. What did you do? Because listeners have eczema out there. Just share with them. Um, I started the 20,000 units of vitamin A the vitamin E and the vitamin D of, you know, the Foods? amount you suggested there, 400 of E. and Okay. How about the EFAs? Did you do uh, The EFAs, I'm doing nine a day. Nice. And anything with food? Did you start to notice anything with food? Uh, I haven't got that straightened out yet. One question I had is, can you take the supplements while on the elimination diet? Uh, you mean while fasting or while on the elimination diet? Well, on the elimination diet, that's just eliminating foods one by one. That's not a problem. But sometimes people have a concern about fasting and supplementation. Here's the thing about supplements. They're non-caloric. They don't have calories to them. When you're fasting, what you're really doing is you're restricting calories. You're, you're reducing or eliminating calories because calories are work. Okay. However, it doesn't really matter if you took a couple, take a couple days off your supplements. So theoretically, it's not going to make a difference, but if you want to take a couple days off your supplements, it's not the end of the world. The, the most important thing when you're doing your fast is to calm the body down, and the supplements aren't going to, they're neutral in that regard. Plus, I'm rubbing in the vitamin A and the vitamin D. Right on the there from the capsule. capsule. Good for you. Good for you, Virginia. Yeah. You're going to eliminate this entirely. Love, to, love for you to get to the food thing. Yeah. Ask your question real quick because we're going to run out of time. Okay. Here. My my other problem is my neck and my head rotates to one side, but I can move it back to the other side. It shakes and it causes pain. You're inflamed in there. You've got some swelling in, inside there. And by swelling, I don't mean big swelling. I mean micro inflammation. So you're not going to see the swelling. It'll be microscopic, but it's keeping the, the ligaments and the tendons in there from healing. And there's probably some, some uh, pressure. Some of the inflammation is causing some pressure on the nerve. So what you got to do is you got to stand, have the uh, inflammatory system calm down. Usually that means food. It's probably related to the same things that are causing the eczema. And that is that you're eating something that the body is rebelling against. It's always right. the first thing to think about. So that food diary is very critical. Which okay. uh, You might want to throw in some glucosamine, uh, glucogel caps, and don't forget bone soup. Love that bone soup for all inflammatory issues, joint issues, tendon issues, okay, digestive issues. Okay, I have taken some glucogel. Keep taking it. Take lots okay. of it. Okay, and then also okay. yoga or some kind of stretching might help you too. Loose, okay. But be very careful with stretching exercises at the neck area, but still that could be helpful. Hey, okay. I got to go. We're out of time. Thanks so much for your call. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate it, Virginia. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you're interested in checking out the Longevity products, head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. And if you're interested in checking out any of my Truth Treatment products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Have a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. Bye for now.